Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 5th through the 11th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So I am using my Morgan Greer tarot deck and I'm also using the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue this week. All right, so I have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Aries, which this could be communication um, that's very significant for some of you. There could be a lot of electronic communication, maybe a lot of emails, a lot of text messages um, going back and forth for many of you this week, Aries. Let's see here. For some of you, maybe you're communicating with people that you work with uh, because the overall energy is the three of pentacles. So for some of you, maybe you're in commu communication with people you work with. Um, there could be a lot going on within the work environment. For some of you, there's, a, there's definitely a lot going on within the workplace for some of you. Things could be happening uh, very suddenly. For some of you, with the Three of Pentacles as the overall energy, I mean, this is great. It's a great energy. I see many of you working very hard. And I see you really enjoying the work that you're doing this week, Aries. Um, the Three of Pentacles does speak of teamwork. So uh, there could be some Aries that you're working within, you know, a, a team, a group setting. You normally might work by yourself, but this week you could be working with a bunch of, of people. Um, and really enjoying the work that you're doing, Aries. And fina financially, I don't think it's going to be a bad week for you. Um, for some of you, you might even have some sort of opportunity that's coming in for you to maybe make more money. Um, we are starting out with the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Cups here. Um, we also have the Knight of Cups underneath it. So on the romantic front, there could be some Aries that maybe there is a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces that's very significant, and you could be hearing from this person uh, this week. Oftentimes with the Knight of Cups for me, this can be someone that you know that is coming forward and offering you something or communicating with you. This can be a lot of lighthearted, flirty communication. So for those of you that are single, um, maybe you're, you're bumping into someone that maybe you went to school with or someone that you already know, and maybe you, you could be exchanging your, your information with that person and with the Eight of Wands here, you could be communicating quite a bit with this person this week. Um, for some other Aries, you know, this could be someone around you, a friend, someone that you like. Um, because again, this is a lot of flirty, lighthearted communication. Uh, great combination for those of you that are single. For those of you that are dating or in a partnership, I mean, this is wonderful as well. Your partner could be very flirty. Your partner could be coming to you and maybe offering you something, or you could be actually moving towards uh, maybe offering your partner something. This can always go in both ways. Now, for those coupled Aries, maybe you and your partner have been maybe trying to move in together um, because we have the Seven of Pentacles here. I have the Seven of Pentacles with the world. So I think there are some Aries um, that are that are partnered that maybe you and your partner have been trying to move in together. Maybe you are, have been trying to travel with your partner. And with the Seven of Pentacles, maybe you've had to wait. And then for some other Aries, this could be on the on the work front. There's something that you've started, something that you've been working very hard on, uh, putting a lot of time and energy into this, but having to wait here. With the Seven of Pentacles, you've been planting those seeds, but you have to wait for those seeds to sprout. Um, so I think that some of you, that's what you're waiting on. With the world, you could be waiting on something to be completed. You could be waiting to move on to that next chapter of your life. But this is something you're you're working towards um, for some of you. No matter how you resonate with that, I see some of you working towards, you know, moving on to that next chapter of your life, starting something new. Um, 
but there is this element of things taking their time and I always say that with the world you know when it comes to completing a chapter of your life with the world you know it's not something that happens overnight it always is a bit of a process you're easing out of one chapter easing into the next chapter and I think that some of you that's exactly where you're at a very long chapter within your life is completing and you're in that kind of transitional period so just continue on planting those seeds just continue on working very hard um, this is a lot of very blessed energy that is around you and for you singled singled for you single Aries um, I can't speak today I apologize for you single Aries um, if there's someone around you that you're interested in and you've been trying to get to know this person um, my advice to you would be just to continue on, you know, getting to know them. Uh, for some of you, you know, I see you very patient trying to get to know someone, you know, and maybe for whatever reasons, things are not developing very quickly. So just maybe needing to be patient, maybe needing to reach out to this person more. If you haven't been communicating with this person as much, what can help is maybe communicating with them more you know, being flirty, having fun with them, that can be something that helps you this week. Now we do have this Queen of Cups here. So it could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups sitting with the King of Rods. So this definitely could be a couple, especially those Aries that you're partnered with a water sign person. Now for those coupled Aries, this could be you and your partner waiting on something. You also could be waiting on this person. You could be waiting on your partner to maybe figure things out because we have this hanged man here, which is that period of suspense. But then we also have the devil. So this is quite interesting um, because we, we do have a three here. There could be some eeries that you could be waiting on a person to maybe get out of a relationship to free themselves with the devil. This is that restrictive sort of energy, but it also can be a person who feels trapped or feels stuck. This can be, a, you know, a toxic relationship, something that's no longer serving them and something that needs to be released. Now, for some of you, I think that possibly you're dealing with a person who is in this situation. Now, some of you, this could be the situation that you are in. Maybe you're in an unhealthy relationship. And with the hanged man, you could be going off, spending some time alone and really figuring things out, especially with the seven of pentacles here, kind of reevaluating a situation. For some of you, you're, you're definitely, especially if it's like a codependent relationship, or you guys fight a lot. If it's just not a good relationship, I think that some of you are contemplating maybe leaving this person with the world, you know, c closing the door on this chapter of your life. I think that you're in the middle of figuring that out. There could have been someone new that came in for some of you. And then for some other Aries, I mean, you could be dealing with someone. You could be involved with someone who is in a situation like that. Maybe they're trying to unchain themselves. They're trying to figure things out. Um, so very interesting reading, and I don't mean that in a negative way. It is just a very interesting reading. For those of you that this isn't on the left front, I mean, this could be something going on within the workplace. Uh, you could be waiting if you're waiting on, you know, these seeds to sprout, something you've invested time and energy into, and if you don't work for a living, that can be a project. There's something you're building, something that you're working on here. Maybe some of you are even um, fixing up a home. Whatever it is, if you're waiting on information, you're waiting on news, with the devil energy here, you know, try not to obsess about this. Try to stay positive. This can also represent fear. So just stay out of your head, stay positive. What can help you is going off and spending some time alone and looking at things from a different perspective, okay? Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Additional guidance for Aries for this upcoming week. But overall, Aries, honestly, you have some very positive energies to work with. I think it's going to be a wonderful week for many of you. Uh, for those Aries that maybe someone has just popped back up from your past, or those Aries that are dating, I see a lot of lighthearted communication here. Financially, I think it's going to be a great week for you. I see many of you working very hard. 
additional guidance for Aries. Oh my goodness, wow, we have prosperity. And if I remember correctly, I think Sag had this as well. So maybe there's like an eerie Sag connection. And it says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And this card just shot right out. So when cards uh, shoot out like that, I find them to be the most sig significant. So if you're waiting for those seeds to sprout, Aries, and you've been working very hard, all of that hard work is going to pay off. That abundance is coming in for you. So this is beautiful. Some of you need to, to be open though. So some of you need to be open. Again, there could be some sort of offer or opportunity that's coming in for you. Um, and I think that if you have a decision to make Aries, whether or not you're going to maybe accept some sort of offer, I think you, that you need to be open when it comes to that. But financially, things are definitely going to be improving for you, Aries. Okay, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful, Aries. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.